Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again today on my MX-15 desktop. And I was watching some YouTube videos the other day, and uh, uh, a YouTuber by, he goes by AJ Rezing had a video about prettying up the X about using the XFCE terminal as a drop down. Now, MX has the MX XFCE terminal as a um, option. Actually, it's configured by default. So I'm going to move my picture out of the way here. And we're going to hit F4, and you see we get the default terminal. Now, the default terminal, the one thing AJ is right about, the XFC 4 drop down terminal isn't all that pretty, at least by default, but it gets the job done. You've got a few items here. You've got the tab bars always shown for whatever reason. you got you got a link for the preferences over here. The menu bar is shown. It's just, it's not, what do you call it? It's not sexy, okay, if a terminal can be considered sexy. Um, so... What we can do, first thing, I'm going to show you how to customize the drop-down terminal the way I actually have it on my production system. This is a test install. This is actually the 32-bit version of MX. I was checking out some other things. So what we're going to do, we are going to, uh, first I'm going to do a right-click here. First I'm going to get rid of is the tab bar. So I'm going to go to the Preferences. Now you see, if you use the drop-down terminal, you get an extra drop-down um, option tab. This won't show up on a regular terminal. Uh, option, but it will on the, on, if you have the drop down terminal going. So I'm I'm going to find always show tabs. I'm gonna get rid of that. All right, tab bar is gone. It's looking better already. I'm also going to uh, uh, let's see here. Do 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 do. Show status icon in the notification area down here in the bottom. When the uh, when the terminal's uh, option uh, active or running, this terminal this icon shows up in the bottom. I'm gonna get rid of that. I I like. I don't really care to have that in there. Your personal preference may be different, but mine is to get rid of it. So there that goes. Okay. Uh, the rest of this looks pretty good to me. Now you're going to see some options in general, not general, in appearance, about displaying the menu bar and displaying the borders around the window. That is actually going to affect both the drop-down and the regular terminal. So we're, I, I want to get rid of the menu bar too. And I want to minimize the borders as much as possible. So I'm going to show you how to do that without affecting the regular terminal settings. Uh, in my mind, it's a different ball game. Uh, the drop-down terminal is a different ball game than the regular terminal. So we're going to exit this. And I've got a couple little a cheat command here. Uh, drop-down terminal, XFC4 terminal. And we can set to hide the menu bar and hide the borders. So I'm going to control C that and open up keyboard settings. It's actually the shortcut key is actually defined in here already. Terminal drop down. I'm going to edit that, and I'm going to paste in the bit of the command that wasn't there already. Okay, so we should have hide menu. Uh, let's see, make sure I got it all right. All right, XFC for terminal space double dash. No, that's something wrong there. Must have pasted in the wrong spot. Hide menu bar. Hide borders. Ah, there it is drop down okay I'm going to say okay and we're going to reset it to the F4 key and it's going to ask us to confirm the change because there's already an existing definition so yes I'm going to keep it all right so now when we hit F4 we get a menu we get we get a terminal with uh, the menus mit gone and the tab bar gone and I, I find this a bit uh, easier on the eyes if I'm using a drop-down terminal. Clicking F4 will, will, will hide it again. It's actually still running, but it'll hide it again. Um, you can still access the preferences by doing a right-click on the screen on the tab uh, like that. Let's see. Da, 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 da. <sighs> yeah, so okay, so there you go. Well, it's still not great. I mean, I can't see my background. Okay, it's 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 just fine, but you can see where the initial the regular terminal still holds its default shape. So what we're gonna do? I wanna I wanna pretty up the drop down terminal some more. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. So I'm gonna go into to do that. I, I want I want a little transparency. So to do that, we are going to open the uh, whoops the terminal again. Right click. Actually, it doesn't matter for this particular option. Both the appearance tab is going to affect both the 
drop down terminal and the uh, regular terminal. So you can say transparent background. And you see now it's going to put a transparent background on. Okay, cool, that's fine. And you can see that it does this to, for the regular terminal too. But if you're paying attention, you'll see that it's not actually transparent. It's actually a pseudo transparency effect putting it on the desktop. That's because on this particular machine, I don't have compositing enabled. So how do you enable compositing? Well, you go to Window Manager Tweaks, and you click on the Compositor tab, and you say Enable Compositing. Now, hopefully, my video is still recording. Uh, but at any rate, so I got that. So now, when we go to the drop-down terminal, actually make sure the settings took. Now the compositor's on with the transparency effect. You should see me through the window. That's what the compositor does. It 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 it, assume, it uh, takes all the layers and puts them on a presentable on the on the the layer that we humans can see with our eyeballs. It puts everything on the same layer. So that's what. So that gives us a nice transparent uh, background to our drop-down terminal. It actually does that for the regular terminal too, but I think it's a good trade-off. And we can also set the appearance. Uh, you can you can set the transparency value if you want it a little heavier. I find if you're using a light background, a little heavier opacity. Well, they call it transparency, but it's going to make the screen a little darker. A little heavier is going to make it easier to see your text. Okay, you want to be able to see your text after all, so. Setting the, the little darker will help with that, especially if it's a light background. Okay, you can also change the default geometry of the windows. You can make it wider, you can make it less wide. Uh, you can actually do that for just the drop down here by adjusting the height. You can see it grows. And the width, if you want to make it full screen, you can do that. Okay, some, some people like that effect. Now, one thing I haven't been able to get rid of, I have not been able to get rid of the scroll bar on the side. Okay, that's, that's fine. I don't really care. It's, it's fine. It's actually handy to be able to scroll back on terminal output from time to time. Anyway, that is how to customize your XFCE terminal in, uh, well, really any XFCE desktop. Now, I'm going to show you something kind of cool that's MX specific. Uh, what I've just done will work for any XFCE 4.12 desktop. Uh, this next bit is going to be uh, somewhat more custom. We're going to customize the prompts. We're going to customize the prompts by copying some information into our bash profile. And we're going to nano.bashrc. All right, we're going to go all the way to the end of the thing. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to paste in this bit about fancy prompts. And actually, I see I've got one here that's. No, oh, we'll save that. Exit out of the terminal. Now, when I bring up, exit out of this terminal. Now, when I bring it up, I should get a fancy prompt. Now, I kind of like this prompt. You get you get your usual information. You get the clock right in there. And what's cool, if you type prompt usage, there are uh, several more to choose from. And all you have to do is change the prompt fancy line in the bash RC to one of these others. If you want to test them out, you can you can do that just by typing different ones. So play with it. It's fun. Give it a play. It's fun, uh, and it gives you a little more value on the customization to your XFC terminal, in particular with the fancy prompts in MX. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mepiscommunity.org or throw up a post at forum.mepiscommunity.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.